Well, like any kids whose parents get divorced, you know, you definitely don't want that to happen. And it was I'm, terrifying. I, you know, I hear Cher singing in my head somewhere right now because that's exactly what happened. You better sit down, kids, you know. And those words are pretty much, I think, what every kid goes through when their parents tell them it's not working out anymore. Part of, part of me uh, probably totally understood why, because we had heard the arguments, and that wasn't fun either. Uh, but it was, it was hard. It was very hard. And I didn't want my daddy out of the house. He was out of house enough. I don't want him to go any further away, you know. And when my mother wanted to remarry, I mean, that was like a knife in the heart. Just, you're kidding, right? It's only been a year, not even. So it was a, it was a rough period for all of us. So um, she married Gary Morton. Right, who was a nice guy, you know? I mean, he was a funny guy, comedian, Gary, a Catskill comedian guy, and tall and kind of handsome-ish. Um, made her laugh and, uh, and didn't embarrass her, you know, in any way. He didn't drink too much. He didn't smile and giggle with the ladies. Uh, I don't know if they had a passionate marriage. I hope so. I don't really know. We didn't talk about that stuff. And, uh, and my father and my mother stayed good friends after the divorce. It took a few years to calm down, but they stayed good friends to the bitter end, and that was good for the kids, you know. Oh, he absolutely was my stepfather, uh, uh, totally. Um, and I, I respected him for that. He was a good stepfather. I mean, it took him a while to learn how to do it, just like it took me a while to learn how to be a good stepmother, which I had to become later on in my life, too. But he, uh, he was fun, you know? And uh, I think he was contented being just who he was. He actually was a tremendous uh, supporter of my dad. He always spoke very highly of my dad. He gave him credit even when he was talking to the audience, doing the warm-ups. He would always say wonderful things about Desi and how he created all of this. And he didn't have any of those hang-ups of the you know husband coming in might have about the ex-husband. Uh, my father, I can't say, felt the same way about Gary. He would always make jokes about Gary, like, as if. And I wanted to say, well, you know, you can't make jokes. You, you, if you don't want her, somebody else can have her, you know, that kind of thing. Used to call him Barry Norton, but l they really were friends. And your father remarried too, um, uh, Edith Mack Hirsch. Yes. Uh, describe her. One of my best friends. Beautiful, redhead, gorgeous, voluptuous, showgirl looking type lady, but not a showgirl. Just a regular broad, just a regular dame who used to be married to uh, Clement Hirsch, who owned Calcan Dog Food and was wealthy and had about eight kids. And they had a kid together named um, Greg Hirsch, called him Butchie. And Edie and Clement used to live with Jimmy and Margie Durante in the summers. They used to share a house together at Del Mar Beach, which was right next door to our house when we were growing up. So when my mother and father were still married, we were already playing with Butchie and Edie. And then my parents divorced many years later, and my father dated a bunch of blonde bimbos, and I wanted to poison all of them, because don't you dare marry one of those people, because I'm like eight, you know, and that's the horrible, that's like the parent trap age, you know, like, you're not going to marry my dad. And uh, then he came to his senses and suddenly started seeing Edie, because she had divorced Clement. Best thing that ever happened to him, I'll tell you, because she was a joy, absolute joy. Great laugh. Um, she didn't know how to cook anything when she married him, but he's such a great cook. He taught her, and she became a fabulous cook. She taught me how to drive. She went bowling with us. She took us to the fair. She um, knew exactly how to handle my dad. She was amazing, and she died uh, in 1985, right after my third child was born and the year before my dad died, and I really miss her. Did, uh, was she friendly with your mother? Yes, they were very friendly. They played cards together. I mean, when they were living in Del Mar, they used to, they used to play gin rummy together. Everybody called Edie the pencil because she could and add up that fast, all the numbers. It's just sensational. He got lucky.